And so today we're going to be talking about Billie Jean and keto, correct? Correct. So tell us a little bit about who Billie Jean and keto are. <laughs> Billie Jean is a 14-year-old female and she is kind of the matriarch of the North American population right now. Um, she actually just became a great-grandmother, so it's very exciting for us as well as uh, San Diego, and we're hopeful that she might become a mother again before she retires her old age. Wow, mother and great-grandmother. Mother and great-grandmother. <laughs> All the same year? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about that. She's obviously had children and her cubs in the past. How many cubs has she had? She's had six cubs in the past, three sets of twins. Okay. And what are we hoping for to see from her this year? Hopefully she will be breeding with keto. It's possible that she could be breeding now and implant immediately and give birth in the spring. Um, there's not a huge amount of data for these guys. They're very unknown as far as the breeding world goes. Um, but it's very possible that she could breed with him from now until late spring, early summer and hold on to a fertilized egg inside of her until the fall and then in the fall she'll implant and that's when gestation actually begins and it's only 60 days so it's a fun process <laughs> and what are the keys that you're looking for to know if she is ready to breed if she's ready to breed she becomes very friendly with keto <laughs> so normally when she sees him she'll bark at him she'll smack her fist against the gate she'll walk away from him she just wants nothing to do with him um, she's very independent, and that's not all Andean bears. Some females will tolerate a male in their space, but Billy will not. Um, so she will become a very different bear. She will suddenly sit still, she'll lick his face, she'll make little cooing noises at him. So it's a complete 180, a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type thing. Um, so when she's being nice and being calm and wants to be around him, that's a trigger for us that it's time to lift the door and let her go in, and usually she will be very receptive. So how much time do Billie Jean and Keto usually spend together? Usually it's about a two week span, um, but each time is different. So it depends on her and what she's going through. If she decides it's gonna be five days this time, it's only five days. Each day I make the analysis based on what she's doing and how she's behaving with him. And has she had cubs in the past with Keto? No. No. So this is Keto's first breeding situation. Okay. Um, so Billy actually became pregnant last this past October and she, we saw it on ultrasound. We saw the fetuses starting to grow and it was very exciting for us. Um, not only because she could get pregnant, but also because it meant Keto could conceive as a father. <laughs> um, and so it was great for us to know that this pair will work, that they will be able to conceive together. So even though she reabsorbed the fetuses, which means that the fetuses just kind of went back into the mother's body, they don't expel like humans do when we miscarry. But it was a great success for us that she even could carry the babies. Can I get you to move just a hair of this way because she's right there. Thank you. Yeah. And is there um, any mourning process for the bears when they have that experience similar to humans? Not that I can see. Um, she immediately wanted to go back with him and wanted to breed again. So as far as I can tell, there was no outward mourning. She never seemed depressed. She never seemed lethargic. Um, her eating habits were completely normal. So she just went right back into daily life. It's, I think, survival, you know? Mm -hmm. When your body goes through something, you just get right back out there and try and do it again. Wow. And then let's talk about the guy side. How do sure. you know when Keto is ready to breed? Is He's it... always ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, typical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, he doesn't give a huge amount of cues, but he does seem to know when she's in heat. Um, he does become a lot more anxious. He'll start banging on doors a little bit and he never bangs on doors. Uh, he really wants to get to her side of the building. So it's a slight tell, but he's always ready. He always wants to see her. Anytime he sees her on the other side of the yard, he starts trilling, which is their solicitation call. Um, so he's always trying to get her attention, always trying to be with her. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, and how does it change your daily life as a keeper when you are preparing for a breeding process or potential breeding? Um, it doesn't change a huge amount. So instead of setting up two yards where you have each bear each day, I'm setting up one yard with his food because we don't want him to eat her food, but she's kind of a picky eater. So we don't really care if she has <laughs> access to his food. <laughs> um, so she won't eat very much of his. And so it's pretty much just arranging the diets in the correct way and then watching them throughout the day. So I have to make sure that he's not being aggressive with her, that she's still being amicable towards him, that type of thing. But it's a pretty simple process. The bears themselves actually just take care of it. They know what to do. 
And how was the match originally made? I mean, how did you know, or how did you determine that Billie Jean and Keto would be a good fit? So we actually have an SSP, which is a species survival plan, and they keep track of the genetics of all of the captive bears. And they made the pair um, based on the genetics of Billie Jean and Keto. So Keto's genetics are not represented almost at all in North America. So it was a really good match to bring him in from Germany to get the genetic material over here because we need more bears in North America. We're having a problem with Indian bears as far as breeding success rates. So what is their status on the endangered uh, scale? They're vulnerable. Okay. And so what are the processes that you're looking for, the signs that they are ready to breed? Um, for her, it's all her. Okay. It's whether she's being nice to him. Um, that's her amicable nest to him is the sign that she's ready to breed mm -hmm. and like I said he is always ready to breed with her so and as zookeepers do you know if the breeding has occurred or did it happen <laughs> overnight uh, no it's several times throughout the day okay. um, he <laughs> I don't know how explicit you want me to get <laughs> you can keep it PG <laughs> keep it PG okay <laughs> um, usually there's some vocalizations that occur um, when we think intermission has actually happened um, and he the motions that they make as well are pretty obvious so we can usually tell but it is usually several times throughout the day so I can usually get a good idea of when it has actually happened. And then what are the signs you'll be looking for to see if, the, if uh, Billie Jean is pregnant? So we actually do ultrasounds on her. Uh, right now we're still doing weekly ultrasounds. So our vets come down, they get a picture of her. Billy does this voluntarily. So she sits on a little bench and she gets mixed nuts as her reward. And the vet comes in and does the ultrasound on her. And then, um, sorry. <laughs> then she'll, um, if we actually see something on ultrasound, We'll go ahead and we'll start moving towards putting up the cubbing doors, which makes the enclosure dark and things like that. But if we don't see anything, we just continue on with normal management. And how long did you say a typical pregnancy would last? Once she implants, it's about 60 days. Okay. And then what happens if, let's say, Billie Jean does get pregnant and mm -hmm. we have a baby bear here at the mm -hmm. zoo? What does that look like? It looks fantastic. That's what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> um, it would... Baby bears are everywhere. So for the first little while, they'll stay inside with mom for several months. Mom will keep them in, just like most bear moms will. They den up with them. She'll take care of them. She'll let them wander around the building a little bit after a month or so. Um, and then we have to keep them in until they can get their vaccines. Once they get their vaccines, they can make a debut out into the yards. Um, and usually it's our smaller yard and we line the moat with hay so that if babies do by chance fall, which these are Andean bears, they're meant to climb, they're meant to fall, so they can handle a fall. But if they do, it's at least a softer landing. Um, and there's doors where mom can go down and get them if she wants to, she will, she will. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she can get down there pretty easy. And then they'll be out, they'll be climbing everywhere, they'll be getting into everything that they can possibly get into. And how many cubs is typical for a litter? Uh, for her, it seems to be about two. Okay. Um, lately, a lot of the Andean bears that have given birth have only given birth to one. And in the history of Andean bears, there's been, I think, only two sets of triplets in North America. And I believe that only one of them survived. Okay. Has Billie Jean always given birth in twos? Always given birth in twos. Okay. So now say that the, the current breeding watch has, does not occur. When would okay. be the next opportunity for Billie Jean and Keto to breed? They actually were breeding as of two days ago. Oh. So it's ongoing. <laughs> it's ongoing, yeah. <laughs> Anytime she wants to be with him, and I pretty much will put them in a howdy, which is where she can see him and he can see her, mm -hmm. but they can't actually get to each other, so they can't hurt each other. So if she's wanting to be with him, then I can lift the gate and they can be together. If she's not, no harm, no foul, and she just walks away. So there's not a season where it's more likely? It tends to be in the spring. Um, to early summer, but Billy has shown us the last year and this year especially that that doesn't necessarily hold true and I've actually in research that I'm doing I collaborate with some of other zoos that are giving me their information um, They've been saying that they're seeing breeding as well this time of year Which is really an interesting phenomenon for us because in the past we assumed it was only spring to early summer And that was the only times we would put them together So it's very intriguing that now we're seeing this huge breeding streak in the winter and is there a timeline that if Billie Jean and Keto don't produce a cub that they would uh, go to another zoo or be separated or try again? Uh, they won't be separated as far as I know. Um, they're a good match and we have no plans to ship either one out. So they'll be here as far as I know for long term. <laughs> 
And then could you just tell us a little bit of their personality, some of the things you've gotten to know over the time uh, sure. that you spent with Billy Jean and Keto? Sure. Um, Billy is kind of a diva. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to do what she wants when she wants. Um, and she's worked Love hard. It. Yeah. <laughs> she's worked hard to get that reputation. Um, she knows what she wants and she's pretty demanding about it. So we kind of pander to her, but she's been a great mom. So after six cubs, you're kind of like, okay, you can you can do a little <laughs> bit of what you want. She's earned that, right? Yeah, she's earned it. And Keto is just about the sweetest male bear that I could ask for. He's always been great. Uh, he wants to interact. He wants to train. He wants to do things with you. Um, and even when he's with Billy, he's a very sweet male. He is twice her size, so he could easily push his luck and do whatever he wants. But he always lets her rule the roost. And when they're playing, he'll even sit down so that he's her height when they're playing and they'll play bad each other and fight like that so it's very cute to see and he's a very good man